Here we go. We're with April Morrison at the NABBA USA Great Lakes Open Bodybuilding Miss Figure Miss Bikini Championships 2011 in Oswego High School. And let's see. You were in the bikini. Bikini. bikini short and class. you won the short class? I did. And you won the overall class? <laughs> But you didn't have to wear overalls? No, not at all. Okay. And you're a veteran of all this competition because this is your 4,000th? No. no? This is my first show. And how did you come to do your first show? Um, well, I, B Fitness, which is the, the gym that is actually promoting the show, I was working out there with a trainer, which is Brooks Robertson. Him and Nikki are the promoters. Okay. And... One day, his wife was on the elliptical, and she just looks over me and goes, April, why don't you do a show with me? And I was like, you're crazy. And uh, so then I kind of just, like, tossed it around in my head for a little bit, but didn't really take it too seriously. And then Brooks was telling me one day about the NABBA show that he does every November, and he, you know, suggested that I do it, that it would allow me to take, like, my fitness level to, like, you know, the next the next level. Um, so... I worked out with Brooks, um, he set all my nutrition, my diet, my lifting, my cardio, and um, I worked out with him just religiously. <laughs> there was no skipping it, and uh, you know, he brought me through all the way to the end here. So. And this was, of course, a very quick process, just two or three weeks, right? <laughs> yeah, I wish. Um, I started this back in June. I started working for this in June. And actually, for myself, um, when I started, I had no upper body. I was all a lower body, heavy person. And Brooks put me through a grueling weight gain to build up my upper body. So at first, it's a little discouraging. So, um, that's not really, like, my best shot. <laughs> this is my best shot. That's your best shot? Yeah, I don't know how it looks right now. Uh, <laughs> looks good shot. to me. But, uh, so, <laughs> but what um, do I know? Yeah, so he made me put a bunch of weight on, so I was like, I thought I was doing bikini, you know, but then... Right, the bikini's supposed to be that, supposed that to soft, you just walk like, in off know, the street, right? And so, you know, me and Brooks had a little bit of a, you know, banter going on that one for a while, and then, um, then we just started, like, the bikini process, where it was, like, cutting carbs and leaning out, and I mean, it, the whole process, from start to finish, was probably about five months for me. Huh. But I've always been, you know, I've always been a clean eater, and, you know, I was a runner before and stuff, so it was, it, but it still was a very drastic change. I really miss carbs. <laughs> so now we're got pizza, donuts. Yes. <laughs> I'm getting portillos when we leave here. So what was it like stepping out on the stage for the first time? This morning, I was incredibly nervous. Um, it's just, you have butterflies, you know, the there's bright lights at you, you have all these people just kind of staring at you, you don't really know what to expect, and I was extremely nervous. I was like shaking like a leaf. So hopefully that, you know, did, well, it didn't really play too much into my judging, I guess, but... Um, you seemed to overcome that in the evening session. Yes, because in the evening, I, all my friends and family were in the crowd, and they've been such a great support for me that I just wanted to get out there and do this for them at that point. Shake a little booty and up. <laughs> Is that part of the uh, ritual, or par oh, part of the judging yeah, process? I threw it in there. <laughs> That's just a bonus for the That's audience? That's a bonus for tonight. A okay. Freebie. The outfit, just something you pulled out of a drawer? Absolutely not. Um, this is a custom-made um, suit. I had ordered it from a company. Um, it's called uh, Suit to Remember. And her name is Jen, and she's out of Georgia. And Brooks had worked with me on choosing a color that would complement my my hair and my eyes. So he actually chose the royal purple color that I wore this evening. That's the um, color of royalty, right? Yes, I guess so. So when he chose that color, I just actually just kind of conversed with the girl and just told her I would like a little bit of rhinestones. And she got my measurements and then it shipped in the mail. And let me tell you, the day that it showed up, it did not fit me like it does today. <laughs> You got. I'm supposed to wear this. How? Yeah, I, I sent um, I sent my trainer a message and I said well, we need to talk. <laughs> <laughs> so, so did you? Bikini. So did so did you adjust your body or adjust the bikini? Uh, my body got adjusted, um, huh. and it was quite interesting because this is considered it's called a half coverage. So it, it definitely I don't even know if it covers half of me, but <laughs> it works. Okay.
So now that, now that you've started at the top, how do you stay there and where do you go? Well, I think I just need to regroup with Brooks and just see where I go from here. And I mean, I'm, if at this point I could just retire like Michael Jordan. There you the go. <laughs> well, he came back, though. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> so we can look forward to seeing more of you? I mean, not, not much. We couldn't. We couldn't see much <laughs> more than what we. This is about as much we're going to get to see. Yeah. But we can see you in future, yes, future, yes, future competitions. Yes. Well, we will look forward to it. Thank you very much. No problem.